Hello, my name is Angus. Welcome to Yoga Circuit One. Hi, I'm Maeve. I'll be your yoga teacher. I'm looking forward to taking you through your practice. I hope you enjoy it. Before we begin today, there's just a couple of little pointers to remember. Firstly, safety. So clear your space around you. Make sure there's nothing that you're going to trip over or fall over. No dogs, kids, no yoga mats. If you're sitting in a chair, please make sure it's steady. Today I'm using an office swivel chair, but maybe it's perhaps best for you at home to take a good solid kitchen chair or whatever chair you find yourself seated in and you're most at home in. Go at your own pace. My pace is different to your pace, so you can always stop, slow down the video, replay it, pause it, all those things, the wonders of modern technology. So take your time, or if you feel like going a little bit quicker some days when you have more energy, go for that. Our structure today is pretty simple. There's five movements in total. There will be instances perhaps where you're not quite able to do all of the movements or all the expressions of the movement. In that case, feel free to take some of the modifications that I offer to do something slightly different that suits your body, or indeed just to imagine it. And then lastly, of course, is to enjoy it. So I hope you enjoy your circuit and see you soon. So on my right, it looks like my left, is Antoinette and Steve. We're looking forward to guiding you through your warm up today. It also stands alone, so if you just feel like you want a short amount of time or you need something to unwind before bed, this is perfect. We're going to practice this seated today. You are welcome to stand also, but for today, we'll take it handy. We're starting by closing our eyes down or lowering your gaze towards the floor. And if you're comfortable placing your hands on your tummy or you can leave them on your lap, I'll close my eyes with you. In your seated position or standing, lift gently through the crown of your head. Roll your shoulders down. Let your body get a little soft as if the chair or the floor is receiving your weight. Turn your attention towards your breathing. You might notice here that your breath is rising or falling in your tummy or your chest. And together, join me in a big, deep breath through your nose. Open your mouth wide, let's sigh it out. Yeah, we'll do a few more of those. Inhale. In your own pace, you can exhale. With every exhale, you're letting go of your day or your evening. And just really letting yourself settle into this current moment in time. As you're breathing, check out how you're feeling. So how's your body today? How's your heart? And that's sort of about your emotions. So what is, what's coming up for you? How's your head doing? Is there a lot of thoughts running by? Or do you feel pretty steady? Bring your attention back to your tummy, back to where that breath is rising and a big loud falling. You're welcome to set an intention today too. An intention is a lovely idea. It's a theme, Maybe it's a, an intention that you set for yourself for your day. Today, we're going to have fun, <laughs> I think. That's what I'm going to go with. So we'll get moving. You can lower your hands down onto your lap. Slowly lower chin to chest. And roll your head all the way one direction. Just one circuit. And then go back the other way. Of course, you have a, if you have a little bit more time, you can do several others. Bring your head back to the center. Shoulders as you inhale to the ears and down the back, to the ears, and down the back. And now we reverse it, you guys. So shoulder to the ears, forward, back, and down, and up, and forward, back, and down. Great, little shoulder taps. So you guys can lift fingers to shoulders, and we'll straighten them out. And I should also have said that this is very much at your own pace. And if you're not quite able to do something fully or at all, you can just imagine the movement. Maybe looking at the hand as it comes up, and down or almost. Relax the hands. A little give wiggle of your fingers, a rotation of the wrists. If you've got snaps and crackles in your wrist, that's pretty normal. And then we'll lower those down. Your knees. So grab a hold of your knees, you guys. 
pivot quickly. There you go, grab all of your knees and you can just give them a little massage or a little rub. If you're able today, you're going to lift one leg and place it back down and then the other. And if you're not, we're going to keep massaging the knees. And the other side. Nice one. Okay. Then from here onto the toes. So draw your toes up so you're resting on your heels. So toes to the sky. Then toes to the floor, heels to the sky. One more. Toes up. Come to the center, last one, toes up, and wave your toes at me. So you're gonna give them a wave from right to left. And then you can lower them down, plant those feet onto the floor or whatever support that you're using. If ankle movement isn't available to you for whatever reason, then we're going to practice with the hands. Steve's gonna show you how to do this with your hands so that if your feet don't quite move in the same way as mine do in this example, then you can use your hands. So thanks for that, Steve and Antoinette. So let's give a go with the hands first. We'll transfer the same movement onto the feet in a moment. So take the heel of your hands, you guys, so heel of your hands, the base, and press that into the front or just on the top of the knee, above the kneecap. With our hands, you can close the palms down, fingertips towards the floor, so you're kind of embracing and hugging your knee, and then lift your fingertips up towards the sky. So it's that movement with your hands. If you'd like to join me, or if you can join me, you can go ahead and lift the toes as the fingertips go up and then toes to the ground, fingertips down, we raise the heels. And raising the heels, you can lift the heel of the hands off your lap. So from the side, it would look like this. I'll keep spinning. <laughs> there you go, perfect. And then we'll go change, fingertips up, toes up, one more together, and lift. Perfect. We're gonna finish up on the heels of the hands and wave your hands and your feet at me, taking it side to side and release, slide your hands back up your thighs or onto your tummy again, place the feet onto the floor, soften the shoulders. Lengthen through crown of head, shoulders roll down. We'll come back to focusing on one deep breath and side all the way out. Well done, thank you for joining us. Welcome. I have Antoinette and Steve with me today and we're looking forward to joining you for your yoga practice circuit one. We're starting out with cat and cow and as I explained in the demonstration videos, you can do this seated standing or on all fours. Today, we'll mostly be doing this seated. I may go down to all fours and show you halfway through. So shimmy towards the front of your chair if you can, otherwise you can stay wherever you're comfortable. Our feet are planted hip width distance apart, knees face forward, hands onto your thighs. We're doing five rounds of breath with this. So let's go. As you inhale, lift the head, neck and shoulders, roll the tailbone back. As you exhale, round in, chin to chest. Inhale, open up across the chest. Exhale, round under. Inhale to lift. Of course, you're going at your own pace today. It might be faster or slower than ours. You guys continue and for the last two rounds, I'm going to come on to all fours as I showed you in the demo. As we inhale, we open up the chest, shoulders back. As you exhale, belly in. Final round, you guys. Lift. Hug the belly in towards your spine as you curl under that angry cat pose. And then your back, you can relax in center. Really swell out the belly as you lift. Drawing it back in. Last one. Great, we're back in the middle. Movement two, forward bend. Inhale, raise the palms up, palms face forward. As you exhale, slide the hands down onto your knees and bend in. You could stop here or let your hands slide down the front of your legs towards the floor, relax your head. If you're in a more upright position, that's absolutely fine. Remember this suits you. Inhale, rise the palms. Exhale, bend forward to your depth. And again, float up. Inhale, rise. And down we go. Focus on the movement with breath this time. Inhale, stretch up. And exhale, lower all the way. Float your palms, you've got the idea. 
and release. Let's give it two more. Inhale, big stretch of the ceiling, even a little bend in the elbows is cool. Exhale it all the way down. Last one. Lift, touch the sky. Exhale, touch the floor. Or close. And roll back up and relax the shoulders. Nice one. Number three, twists. Really great for the spine and one of my favorites. Palms relax down by the sides, sit tall through your spine. Inhale, float the palms up and palms face towards the floor. As you exhale, we're turning to our left. At home, you'll be turning to your right. Twist all over the left side. Relax the right hand, front hand to a knee, back hand onto the chair. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, twist, look over the left shoulder. We're holding here for four more breaths. Counting the deep breaths in and out. Relaxing the body a little, letting go. As you inhale, we'll unwind now. Exhale, twist. We're going right, you'll be going left. Lengthen and twist. So see if you can follow the count of the breath now. In and exhale is one. Counting the second. It can be a little bit harder to breathe in your twist. So focusing on that, rising the belly, inhale. Drawing the belly in, exhale. Last round of breath. And we're out. Unravel, palms shoulder height. On the exhale, we're going to our left, you're going to your right. Place one hand to your knee, other hand, back hand to the chair. Lengthen. Draw the breath, exhale, twist, and we're holding now for four more breaths. Keep your mind steady by focusing on what you're doing when you're doing it. Last breath. And on the inhale, we release, palms back out to that shoulder height or thereabouts and float them all the way down. You have the option to stay seated and repeat it. Antoinette and I will stand for this part just so you get to see it. All set, Steve, let's go. Inhale, arms up. On the exhale, twist, we're going to the right, you'll be going to your left. And Antoinette and I will take one hand to the tummy, front hand belly, back hand behind you. Look over that right shoulder, well done guys. Five breaths, we've about three more to do. Maybe each exhale, you're nudging yourself a little bit deeper into the twist where it feels comfortable for you. Inhale, unravel, float the palms wide and exhale, release. Eagle arms. Eagle arms is really good for working the shoulders, for easing out the tension, so let's begin. Inhale, float the arms out to the side. Think nice, light arms. As you exhale, we're taking our right under our left, but you can take left under right so it looks the same. Option here to bring fingertips to touch shoulders or as close as you can. Alternatively, you can continue to wind your hands around each other and hold a thumb, a sleeve, a palm. Lift the elbows up. Now let's drop the shoulders down. And imagine you can breathe into the back of your shoulders right between them. So when you're breathing in, the shoulders broaden. As you exhale, they relax down. You hold this for five breaths. Last breath. And then let's roll it out. Inhale, swoop wide. Exhale, opposite arm under. Intertwine and wind. Option, shoulder tap. Or go ahead and interlace. Lift the elbows, drop the shoulders, and soften your jaw. You can give it a little wiggle if you're tightening it. Five breaths again. If you feel any pain or strain here, back out a little. It's not a competition, so take it at your own pace. Last breath. And we'll open our arms wide, I can feel that, and lower the arms down. Nice work. Once again, it's palms from the side. Inhale. On the exhale, take your left under your right. We're taking our right under our left. It's always a mirror image in camera. 
option to touch your shoulders or go ahead and wrap the arms and weave them around each other. Please lift elbows, roll shoulders down, holding for four more breaths. Send the breath to the back of the shoulder blades. Soften your face. On an inhale, we release, nice and slow, come out of it, never pinging your way out. As you exhale, do your opposite side. You get mixed up on the sides, it doesn't matter, you're doing both, so that's cool. Touch fingers to shoulders or full wrap. Elbows up, shoulders down. We're almost there, you guys. And let's open wide, big breath and float it down. Here we are, our final pose of this circuit and certainly the favorite, Shavasana, corpse pose or rest pose. There's a number of different ways that you can do this pose, as we showed in the demonstration video. You can practice it seated or lying down and there's two foot positions. Antoinette is kindly demonstrating here and looks very comfortable already in her Shavasana. So let's begin, either seated or lying down, you have the option to have your knees bent as Antoinette is or to straighten your legs out fully. Steve and I are remaining seated for this one. So sit tall through the crown of your head or as you're lying down, you're lengthening out through the crown of the head. In all cases, relax the shoulders away from your ears. Your hands could rest on your tummy or you can rest the palms open from the body, and let them turn upwards. Other option to place them on your thighs if you're seated. Here we'll close our eyes down if you're comfortable or you can gaze if you're seated towards the floor in front of you. Relax your body a little, almost like the ground or chair is absorbing you. And let's breathe deeply in. And a long, gentle breath out. Focus on the sensation of the air coming in through your nose or your mouth. And notice maybe as you exhale, how much warmer it is. Drawing in cool, clean air. And a long, deep breath. Now you have the option of remaining on longer in your Shavasana which we highly recommend. Otherwise, see you soon. We're moving in now to a cool down phase. So these are gentle joint movements just to sort of relax you down, settle you in, and we'll focus on some deep breaths to unwind. We're starting by closing our eyes down or lowering your gaze towards the floor. And if you're comfortable placing your hands on your tummy or you can leave them on your lap, I'll close my eyes with you. In your seated position or standing, lift gently through the crown of your head. Roll your shoulders down. Let your body get a little soft as if the chair or the floor is receiving your weight. Turn your attention towards your breathing. You might notice here that your breath is rising or falling in your tummy or your chest. And together, join me in a big, deep breath through your nose. Open your mouth wide, let's sigh it out. Yeah, we'll do a few more of those. Inhale. In your own pace, you can exhale. With every exhale, you're letting go of your day or your evening. Just really letting yourself settle into this current moment in time. As you're breathing, check out how you're feeling. So how's your body today? How's your heart? And that's sort of about your emotions. So what is, what's coming up for you? How's your head doing? Is there a lot of thoughts running by? Or do you feel pretty steady? Bring your attention back to your tummy. 
Back to where that breath is rising. And a big loud falling. So we'll get moving. You can lower your hands down onto your lap. Slowly lower chin to chest. And roll your head all the way one direction. Just one circuit. And then go back the other way. Of course, you have a, if you have a little bit more time, you can do several others. Bring your head back to the center. Shoulders as you inhale to the ears. And down the back. To the ears and down the back. And now we reverse it, you guys. So shoulders to the ears, forward, back and down, and up, and forward, back and down. Great, little shoulder taps. So you guys can lift fingers to shoulders. And we'll straighten them out. And I should also have said that this is very much at your own pace. And if you're not quite able to do something fully or at all, you can just imagine the movement. Maybe looking at the hand as it comes up and down or almost. Relax the hands. A little give wiggle of your fingers, a rotation of the wrists. If you've got snaps and crackles in your wrist, that's pretty normal. And then we'll lower those down. Your knees. So grab a hold of your knees, you guys. Pivot quickly. There you go. Grab a hold of your knees. And you can just give them a little massage or a little rub. If you're able today, you're going to lift one leg and place it back down, and then the other. And if you're not, we're going to keep massaging the knees. and the other side. Nice one. Okay. Then from here onto the toes. So draw your toes up so you're resting on your heels. So toes to the sky. Then toes to the floor, heels to the sky. One more. Toes up. If you're just using your palms today, like Steve and I in this demonstration, we're going to lift both fingertips up towards the sky, press the heel of the hand down. Steve's going to show you how to do this with your hands so that if your feet don't quite move in the same way as mine do in this example, then you can use your hands. So thanks for that, Steve and Antoinette. Come to the center. Last one, toes up and wave your toes at me. So you're going to give them a wave from right to left. And then you can lower them down, plant those feet onto the floor or whatever support that you're using. Lengthen through crown of head, shoulders roll down. We'll come back to focusing on one deep breath and side all the way out. Well done. These videos are there for you anytime you'd like. So enjoy, have fun with it, and see you soon. I found that very enjoyable and relaxing, especially the breathing and the stretching part. We'll definitely do that again.